We're live from Chibokta Ford in the beautiful Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. I don't got to tell you how pleased people are with the current model lineup of the Escape. But I got to tell you this. Oh, with the old, in with the new. In with the new. Canada's number one SUV just got a whole lot better. The 2013 Escape is so revolutionary that I had to build you a new show just to do it justice. Ford put more into it so you can get more out of it. I'm waiting for a customer of mine named Clifford to come on by who bought two vehicles from me in the past, the 2011 Edge and the 2012 Focus. Clifford's not a man of many words, but he knows exactly what he wants. Matter of fact, here he is now. Clifford, buddy, glad to see you here. Welcome to McPhee Ford. I know, bit of a name change, but what do you think about my establishment? Awesome, isn't it? Don't be a stranger, my friend. Come on in. How's the wife? Good? Kids fantastic. My family is absolutely perfect, man. Life couldn't be better. What do you think about this? 2013 Escape. This is what I was telling you about. Hey, remember that? No more fumbling with the gas caps, huh? Come on over here. Take a step back. I want you to look at these beauties. This is an almost entry level at an SE, which you can compile lots of benefits and features to it. Or if we're talking a bit of a tax write-off, my friend, you could go for the titanium. Are you going to save a few dollars, or do you want to go for the gold? again buddy just to show you another feature that I can't wait to demonstrate to you but before I get there I want to show you like I said connected on the go blind spot information system the mirrors will light when your lanes are, are not clear to change them. the body lines on this vehicle how they match the rims perfectly how this vehicle looks like it's in motion even when it's standing still come around here wrap around the 360 degrees this car can be seen at the nighttime which is really safe on the Nova Scotia Highway sometimes to get those single lanes. Man, as I come around the back, this is what I want to show you. This is why I'm getting so excited. Look, I'm going to wait one foot under the bomb park. I'm going to step back from this vehicle. How about that? This is better than no more fumbling with the gas cap. Look in here. 1,920 cubic liters of space. It's larger than the 2012s. And I know the vehicle looks a bit smaller, but it feels a lot larger. I'm going to push this button right here, and I'm going to make this door go back down. While we're at the back of the vehicle, let me show you this. High top reflective light, wrap around tail lights. This vehicle can be seen 360 degrees in the nighttime for vision. That is a safety feature that Ford can brag about. As I look down here, rear view camera, and what these little sensors are for, active park assist. They'll start beeping as you start coming closer. Beep, 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 beep. Clifford, if you hear beep, stop the freaking vehicle, okay? Cool. The titanium Equipoose four-wheel drive. As you come around here, Clifford, let me open this back door for you. Remember the old system under the 2012s and older on the Escapes? They used to have to fold up the bottom seat and take the headrest off. Now it's real simple. Push a button up here, headrest automatically folds. One touch fold down seat. That's a lot easier for your business when you're trying to manipulate things in and out of your vehicle. So as I come in here, my friend, look. Lockable hidden storage down on the bottom, which means flick the little lever down here, put all your valuables in there while you're at the beach, you know, your watch, car keys, everything like that. Remember the touchpad entry system, so you don't need your key on you all the time. I come around to the front, look, blind spot information system. See these two little cars right here? When you go to change lanes on the highway and something is in your blind spot, this light will beep up. It's like sonar technology. That's how submarines float around out in the ocean. And speaking of the blind spots, step back for a second. Look how the glass is situated, how the vehicle flows into itself from the rear. There's virtually no blind spots with this vehicle. This is just an added safety feature put on here for you, the customer. You're my customer, Clifford. I open up the front door here. Look at this space. 
Watch, I'll jump right in. You know me, big north. 87 pounds, like I said. Couldn't be more comfortable. Where you want to drive to? Let's go to Montreal. I hear it's a fantastic city. But don't tell my wife, okay? Can I come around in front of the vehicle, Jeffrey? Like you said, the body lines. This car is actively moving all the time, even when it's sitting still. The new front end. I absolutely love this. Again, part of the 360 wraparound package. The headlights, blinkers visible on the sides. And in the front, oh, you see these little buttons right here on the side right here? You know what? That's a park assist, yes? My escapes can still park themselves, my friend. As I come around in the front of this vehicle, you know I always like to start the power plant. Lift this up. Three different kinds of engines available for this. Step over here. 2.5 at 168 horsepower, like I said. It's going to get you 46 miles to the gallon on the highway. But if you want something with a little bit of burst and a little bit of bang, you want to go to the new engines called Echo Boost. 1.6 liter. I know it sounds small, but it has the heart of a lion. 178 horsepower, and it's getting 49 miles to the gallon on the highway. Or you can step up to the power system, the 2.0 Echo Boost direct injection. But this vehicle is just screaming 240 horsepower. You'll feel that out on the road. And when it's moving with an active all-wheel drive system that's being monitored 30 times per second, which means that when you're driving the vehicle, if you were to swat a fly out of your face, it has already monitored your vehicle 60 times. Let's see you try to do that in a one second period. Now, as I come inside this vehicle, you know, again, all your easy stations to look, your caps, your washer fluid, the rest you don't have to worry about because I'm going to cover you under a maintenance package. I know that you really like those maintenance packages, don't you? All right, they're freaking phenomenal, all right? Let me put this down, man. We're going to get to the part that interests you the most, Cliff. Well, come around here. Come on. Don't be a stranger. Come with me. You know, like I said, the blind spot information system, the parking system. I almost forgot the active grill shutters up front. Do you know how the blinds work in your house, Clifford? You pull the string, the blinds open up. You pull the string, the blinds close. Well, Ford has a system to pull the string. When you're driving on the highway to get maximum fuel economy, they'll close. They absolutely close in behind the front bumper on this vehicle. Thus forcing the air from underneath to around. Remember how the old NASCARs used to drive? This thing can drag itself. It is phenomenal. Let me bring you around, buddy. Check this out. The inside of the vehicle. This thing is totally awesome, man. When you're looking, I'm putting the seat back for you because I know that you're a man like me, six foot three. Except I think you weigh more than 178 pounds, Clifford. Jump right in. Don't mind my hand, I'm just putting your seat back. All right, man, you don't mind if I close this up? Clifford, let me open this up for a sec. Oh, that's totally amazing the way that lights up for you, isn't it? But I'm gonna get to that in a second. I wanna show you this over here on the door. Memory seating, three-step memory seating. You, you're in two employees. You just push the button, hold it, it'll go beep for you. The seats will lock themselves into place. And speaking of the seats locking themselves into place, 10-way adjustable power seating that you're sitting on right now. Up, down, forward, backwards, your two angles, you know, lumbar support, fit and finish leather that is beyond what you would expect to find in, in, a, in a subcompact SUV. But to show you most of these features, you're gonna to have to let me get in with you. I'm gonna close this door and come around, okay? Sorry it took me so long. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Listen, while we're in here, do me a favor. Put your foot on the brake. Push this button right here. Push button start. How cool is that? Key never has to come out of your pocket. Now, I'm gonna shut this off for a minute because we're in the showroom. But if I just push this one, one more time without your foot on the brake, look what happens. We're gonna start over here in behind your wheel. Intelligent four wheel drive. This is your information system, 4.2 inch LCD monitor which sits on the top. What it will show you here is where the power is going to your wheels. Remember I told you your tires are being monitored 30 times per second? Well, then it'll actually show you where the monitoring's going and where the power's going. I'm gonna take my hand right over here and this side of the wheel controls this whole atmosphere right here. Which means I'm gonna back out of there and it's real easy to use. Follow the arrows, know where you're at. Trip one, trip two, and information. Now, this bar will tell you how deep that you're into the system. You can come down, information. Push right for the arrow, there's the intelligent four wheel drive I was telling you about. There's the my key. Now I know the oldest child almost ready to drive, which my key means 
one key will overwrite the other key. You put it in, you create the my key, you can set it so the vehicle will not pass 100 kilometers an hour. It will not go into gear until the seat belt is done. Stereo will not go past a preset volume. It will start chiming at 100 kilometers empty. Can you imagine that? Parental controls on a car. I'm so glad this wasn't around when I was a kid because I never would have got to drive. Clifford, most of the brains of the operation is demonstrated right here on the 8 inch LCD monitor. Four quadrants it has. Top left hand one being phone. Bottom left one being entertainment. Bottom right one being climate. Top right one being navigation. For example, I hit this little button Please right here. Please say a command. Navigation. Navigation. Say a command. I am hungry. And where would you like to search? Nearby or in the city? Nearby. So, as it's programming itself up, it's real time. Say a line number. Line three. When ready, press the voice button and then say, set as destination. And that's how easy it is for me to find you a pizza with this vehicle. This can do so many more things, Clifford. Climate control, you can hit the button and tell it, climate. Set temperature 24 degrees. Setting temperature 24 degrees. When you tell it that you're hungry, it'll find you what you're looking for. Not only that, it'll give you destinations, show you the easiest way to get there, or give you the phone number so you can book reservations. As I come down this vehicle, Clifford, this has the park assist. That's the button that I told you about. Put the blinker on, whatever side you want to park on. Hit the button, you'll listen for the beep. The beep will happen, put the vehicle in reverse, let go of the wheel. Scared me the first time I did it. Takes you a minute to get used to it, my friend, but you will get the hang of it. The wheel will just turn and the vehicle will back itself in. I can demonstrate that to you outside. I look back down here, Clifford, the easy maneuverability of the hand gear shifter here. Put it in S, still drive it like a standard with your thumb shifter. That is absolutely, totally phenomenal how I like these features about this vehicle. As I stroll down from the center stack, I come into the heated seats. 12 volt adapters and these are the heated seats Clifford set your temperatures one two three four five let's jump outside this vehicle and I want to talk to you a bit more let me play catch up for a sec I'm just gonna close this door for a quick second and I'm gonna open this door right here because I just remembered you said sometimes you're gonna have the wife and kids in this vehicle and I know how you are on safety down here Clifford the framing system with the hole in it just looks like a simple hole. The Ford figured out that if you just put a bolt over here and you connected it through the door and ran it into the framing system on the vehicle, side impact can generate five more times energy and deflect it throughout the vehicle. The Ford's looking out for you while you're looking out for your kid. And here's a little something for insight that I just read the other day about this vehicle. When this vehicle has driven its last mile, it's 85% recycled. No other car company can claim that right now in this business. What I want you to do again is come on over here, take a step up, and look at the roof of this car. Look at that panoramic sunroof. Even the kids can get a little daylight in the back seat now. Cross ribbing on the, on the bar system up here. You know, let you put the kayak up there, the family buggy, whatever you gotta do. Better get down before the owner sees us. You can close this door up and lock. Here's what I wanted to demonstrate to you. Lock. Start. I had to shut it right back down, my friend. You know the emissions control inside of a building. It's just way too much. Clifford, come on over to my desk. This is my new digs right here. Grab a seat, my friend. I already had the page open up the titanium for you. I knew what it was going to be. There's only two things left to talk about, Clifford. One is how much this is going to cost you every month, what you're truly going to be amazed with. And two, what color do you want it in? Never mind that. You want that Kodiak brown, don't you? Come on, let's go get a bill of sales. Take care of some paperwork. Quick and painless, huh, Clifford? Third time's the charm. FMPP, extended, right on there, and I like the way you look over yourself, and Ford's going to take care of you again, you know that, this is the third time around. I appreciate you doing business with Ford, and Ford appreciates your business, and I personally appreciate your business because this is the third one that you bought from me. Now I only need to know one thing, 
you want to pick it up at 10 a.m. or you want to pick it up at 3 p.m. I know, I know, wait, 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 wait. 3 p.m. Afternoon's always best for you. Come on, man. Let me walk you to the door. I know you got to get back to the office. Everybody, it was a pleasure. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, man. Good night. Clifford, one more time, I want to thank you for your business, buddy. And I hope that you truly enjoy this vehicle with the other two. And I look forward to talking to you soon. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. It's all good.